Well, Joe, it's our biggest ever New Year's Day win, biggest margin of win over Chippenham, biggest crowd at home in National League side. I suppose that's a happy New Year. Big win, I guess, huh? Yeah. It's, it's, um... Hey, listen, it, all the credit goes to the players. They've been, um, they've been so professional through the Christmas campaign. Um, there's a team there that did things right through Christmas. Um, it was physically that they pressed, they hurried, they, they swarmed around any, any Chippenham player in possession, and that set the tone really early in the game. And of course, the quality was just, it was breathtaking to watch. Um, I thought some of the patterns, some of the movements were just superb. The system worked. People who, who say to me it's five at the back, it's not. It's three at the back, and we have lots of rotations, two at the top. And um, credit goes to the players. They're the ones that, that, that do it, not us. Um, they're the ones. And um, tonight, that's a, that's a really good performance um, against the team that thought they could come here and maybe get on top of us a little bit physically. Um, we never allowed them at any point. You mentioned to me in the pre match interview that the big pitch could help. It certainly did. We moved them, we kept moving them. We knew that physically we were better than them. Um, so I said, if we move the ball on this big pitch, that they wouldn't be able to cope with it. And they couldn't, they couldn't cope with it. They were pu pushing their wing backs back. Uh, Mark Fairplayton, he's changed his system at half time and tried to block it out a little bit in the middle of the park, which worked to a certain extent for them. Um, but that's just a, one of the most convincing wins I've seen or been in charge of any team um, on, a, on any given day. So um, just so, so proud of everyone and proud of the football club for the attendance here today, like you say, proud of the players. Proud of all my staff for what they've given me in 2018 as well, and that starts off 2019 in the in the right tone. Um, and it's a message has gone out. I think we've gone into fifth with a game in hand on a few in the top of there as well. So what, what we've done now is put ourselves in a really good position to um, to push again now in, in the start of the new year. So clinical and threatening going forward, particularly in that first half. And you've also got a reliable penalty taken. And Anthony Straker, big cried and all that, and nerves never get the better of him. He's so calm. He's so calm. That's why he's our captain. His information he gives to, to others out there. He's a leader. He leads by how he plays. Um, he sometimes gets a little bit overexcited himself, but he's learned to control that a bit more. And like you say, he's so calm in, in, on penalty situations for us. Um, I never ever thought that he was going to miss it. He looks he looks so assured. Um, but yeah, but every single every player. I mean, the best the credit I can pay. The biggest biggest compliment is when we scored or at the end when the game's finished. All the players were down here. The injured players, the ones who've been left out, um, and and that's a compliment to all the all the players we've got at this squad and this football club. We're together as a team. Um, I thank everyone for turning up and watching us today. And hopefully they see that we're a progressive team trying to do things. Sealed it with that beautiful fifth goal from Adam Mann where he ran close. His first goal in the league for a while, but wouldn't have thought it. The way he was so calm in front of goal and then dinked it nicely over the keeper. He deserved it, man. He deserved that. He's um, he's a player that is playing at lower level, right? He played blue, he's played in the Vanarama North for Gloucester, but he's coming. He's enjoying his football. His work rate is phenomenal. That's why he deserved that goal. He's got quality. He's got real quality in his boots. And um, the reason he got that goal is because of his work ethic and his attitude. And um, like I said, each to a man, they were all they were all at it. Everyone was at it, and we sensed it before. We've sensed it all through Christmas, and. Um, I'm so proud of everyone, honestly. I know I've said it before, but I'm so proud of everyone at the football club for that today. We've put on a real show and um, sends out a message. But we've won nothing. We've won nothing. I won't get too carried away. We have to enjoy it, of course. You have to enjoy these moments. But it's important now that we get our training right this week. Recoveries have to be right and get ready to go again on Saturday. You mentioned about recoveries. A lot of players now are about to come back into the squad. Do you think it's spurred those on started a bit more? They've got a lot of competition with uh, other, place, other players like you come back. I think they've got their own motivations, Mark, I really do. I don't think it's about whether there's people waiting to get in the team or knocking on the door and trying to get in the team. Competition for places is very good, but they set their own standards. Their attitudes are exemplary, honestly. Each individual really knows what it's about. And um, today showed that. They blew away a team. We looked, we looked a really professional outfit today. From the minute we turned up at this football club to the minute I'm talking to you now, we look class and we look professional. The way we go around our business is class. Every player in that dressing room is class. And um, like I said, we'll, we'll always carry ourselves with some class if we can. One of those players with lots of professionalism in Amici Effetti, who's travelling to all these, these games from London. I know his loan's soon to expire. Maidstone had a couple of changes of manager since then. Would you be <coughs> liking to keep him on and perhaps some of these other loanees, uh, their deals on early up? Yeah, well, I've I become a little bit busier, well, even more busier now, I guess. We've already been speaking to those players that you mentioned. Um, I've made another sign-in in Freddie Hines. Freddie Hines has come in from uh, Bristol City, a lad who's played in their first team and done ever so well, and a lad I like, likes to go in behind, really good energy levels, wants to come in. He really, really is looking forward. He's here today to watch it and looking forward to it. He's uh, met all the lads, all the staff, couldn't quite get the clearance through. 
Um, but yeah, and Mishi, Mishi's done brilliant for me. I've, as you know, I've known Mishi for a very long time and um, I know what, what he can bring. And that, that system there does suit Mishi. He likes to play at wing back, he likes to drive. I thought first half, he set the tone for the whole team and he kept them on the back foot and um, he, was, he, was, he was inspirational. But, but they all were, like I said, every single player to a man, every member of staff, every supporter in this ground, you guys, the media, everyone, everyone today were professional and showed a bit of class. And I'll finish by saying that class is what we're about. It's, it's about doing things the right way. And um, whether we win, lose or draw, it's important people do that. And um, while I'm studying tonight, it's nice to say that we've, we've, we've on the end, or we've put a 5-0 really convincing win in there against Chippenham Town um, and done it in the right way. Just a final thing on Saturday's game against Dulwich. You'll be going in there full of confidence, of course. All the sides sort of at the wrong end of the table. They gave a bit of a scare, particularly in the first half in the home fixture here at Twerton back in August. I, I think I actually think they're one of the better sides we've played. Um, I thought they're very athletic. They moved the ball really well. I know Gavin, their manager, so I know either way he likes to do things. They're back at their home, aren't they? Gone back home. Yeah. And um, there'll be a big crowd in there, I think, again on Saturday. It'll be nice for us to take a load up again, get behind the boys. We need, to, we need them to push them. And um, no, we'll have to be ready. We, you get nothing in football, nothing's given to you. Um, and like I said, the, the reason why that happened there today is because everyone's done it the right way. And um, the boys will be ready Saturday and um, let's try and get another three points on the board. OK, Henry, have you got any more? Uh, Mark mentioned Dulwich, you also got Slough on the Tuesday night. It's uh, two games in a week and a really good chance to repush that uh, playoff, play, playoff place, isn't it? No, it is. Yeah, it is, it is Henry, but it's, they're two tough games. Um, two games um, away from home. I think we're unbeaten in seven, aren't we, away from home? So that's that's good. Good confidence for the boys to take in as well. Um, and at the moment, we've got, we can flip formations. We've, we've shown now that we can play with a three, we can play with a four and um, play two up top, which I've been trying to do a little bit this season. As Mark said in my last interview, we tried it pre-season. Now we can start to work on it a little bit. Um, but we'll, we'll pick a team for any given game, and those two games will be totally different. They'll be different to this one. And it's important that everyone keeps themselves right in between now and those games. We'll train on Thursday. It's important we do that, stay together as a group, and, um, and see what we can get out of the two next away games. And among the big crowd today, there was a couple of special guests from America. Did you get the chance to meet them before the game? Yep, yep. I, um, I tweeted them because I saw that they'd come across, so I've invited them in to meet me. They've met me and the staff before the game at 1.30. they They've been in the dressing room and met all the players. I think that's important that people recognise that as well. We're a club that don't hide what we're doing. It's, it's, there's a lot of clarity in the football club, whether it's from my side of the football, whether it's the business side. We're really clear on where we want to go and what our vision is. And um, it's nice to share share them, the football, if you like, with someone from America because he's a really enthusiastic supporter. He's on Football Manager trying to take my job, he's telling me. And um, really nice couple, really nice to meet them. And that's made their day as well. So it's something special. It's really nice to give to someone who's come 4,000 miles, see a 5-0 win in a performance like that. It's made their day. So I look forward to having a beer with him now in the bar. And um, there was a few special people. Aidan Mings was here as well, actually, and he's a good friend of mine. Um, John Frigo was here and shook my hand before the final whistle. So these are these are really good people that have been involved at the football club and um, I've played with. And um, no, they'll enjoy that win as well. And hopefully that's what we do. We want to make people happy. And um, sometimes we do it in the way we play and hopefully we get the results with it. And that's what we're trying to do.